is huge right now. Um, and, and I stress the words uh, right now. Um, what's, what's interesting about Twitter is as a, as a marketing vehicle is that one, it has a huge community and growing. So anytime, you know, in years ago when I did media relations, I don't do media relations anymore, uh, but when I did, um, the best tip I ever got was to go where the media are. It's just much easier to get results uh, if you do something where the media are already gathered uh, than to try and get the media to come to you for whatever it is you're trying to do. And, that, and, people, and to this day, that's a tactic that a lot of PR professionals uh, make heavy use of. It's the same exact thing in social media. You want to go where there's already people, and there's a lot of people on Twitter, and the numbers seem to show that they're growing. Now, I know that at some point, they will plateau, uh, and somebody else will come along, and it'll be kind of interesting to see how things shake out. But I think the way you, uh, the, the reason it's taken off uh, for marketers is that, one, the community is there. Um, two, it's, uh, it's, it's lightweight. Uh, you know, uh, with, I can't even tell you how many clients over the years I've talked to about blogging, and they were all interested about it, into, and they all, all inter had interest in it, but the problem was that they were just afraid of the time, the time to manage the comments, the time to create the content. Creating content's a lot of work. Uh, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> you know it, I know it. It's a lot of work to create good content. But on Twitter, it's actually easier, and it's lightweight, and the 140-character nature of it makes it actually pretty easy for one person or two people to participate in a in a credible and meaningful way over a period of time. So I think the way marketers are using it now is some are using it as a pure just information delivery mechanism. And that's, that's fine. It's, it's, I don't think it's going to get you very far, but it's fine. Uh, the, the more savvy brands are using it as a, as a customer service tool and a, and a feedback uh, mechanism where they can actually listen and respond to customers in real time. And that's been very effective. Uh, others are doing promotions in Twitter. Uh, and uh, or contests, and so I think that you know there's there's fun things that are happening there, and so but it, it's it's working because the community's there, they're they're receptive to brands if they are respectful of the space and contribute, um, and I think there's a lot of uh, and the platform is 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 uh, is very flexible in what you can do with it. So, but you know, again, we'll see where this all goes. I think that there's a few things they have going for them that those guys don't. Um, first, they have this incredible developer ecosystem. They, they, they opened up their, um, the ways that uh, programmers could, uh, could build applications on top of Twitter uh, in, in ways that really nobody else has ever done uh, for free. And, they, and this has spawned thousands of, uh, of mashups and um, you know, desktop applications and search engines and all kinds of innovation. And I think that they can find a way to help those folks monetize those and in the process maybe get some share of that revenue. So I think that's an avenue, the developer community is an avenue for them to, to monetize. Advertising, I'm not bullish on the, on the prospects for advertising on Twitter. I don't think it's, uh, I think that they've, they've set up the community the way they've set it up and it's going to be hard to introduce that in a credible way. Um, I think that around search though, they got a big opportunity there um, uh, to, to monetize that. I think that's, a, that's an area that they could monetize. Um, but, you know, they're challenged right now, and I think that what they're focused on from everything I've been reading and, and from my discussions with them is they're, they're focused on maintaining and growing their community. And I think that's exactly the spot-on thing to do. they got plenty of cash, um, and they have to focus on, ma on making sure they don't lose their community. Because if they lose their community, then all the monetization options in the world aren't going to matter. And, uh, and we'll see if, they're the, if they're, they're the ones to break the cycle. I... I don't, I don't know if they can. It'll, you know, um, FriendFeed is coming on strong with a, a certain group of influencers, and uh, and innovating in some incredible ways, um, and making it much easier to to manage the conversation and and to and to navigate it. You know, it's early. I mean, I I think Twitter's going to be around uh, in force for several years. The question really is cult. It comes down to culture. Will people get tired of tweeting? Will they just get tired of it? And we're fickle online. And, uh, and I think that's going to be interesting to watch.